One of the unique things about our landscape speakers is that they're compatible with both 70 volt and 8 ohm systems. In this how-to video, we're going to walk through a variety of system configurations for both 70 volt and 8 ohm, as well as talk to a combination of the two for a powerful hybrid solution. Let's go ahead and get started. Now the first system we want to talk to is 70 volt. Now you can wire this up one of two ways. The first option is to use a standard commercial amplifier that has stereo inputs and a single channel output. Now following common wiring practices, you would just parallel wire to the first speaker and daisy chain your subsequent speakers. Now another really cool thing about our landscape speakers is the fact that the tap settings are built right in. So you can adjust each tap setting wattage based on the listening position. Just make sure that whatever you set up, the sum total in addition to the line loss is less than the power handling capability of the amplifier. Another option you can go with is a professional level commercial amplifier, such as our Crown DSP amp. Now the unique features it has over our standard amplifier, it has a built-in DSP which is specifically designed for our episode landscape speakers. It has two high power channel outputs, so when you follow common wiring practice, allows you to wire a ton of speakers, perfect for a huge area, as well it has a balanced line level input. Question is, how do we take an unbalanced RCA, which is just positive and ground, and connect it to the balanced connection of the crown amp, which is the positive, negative, and ground? Well, you simply take the tip, which is positive, and connect it to the positive side of the crown amp. You take the shield, which is connected to the shell of the RCA, and run it to the ground. And then you take the ground and make a jumper to the negative. Here's a picture of it done properly. You can see that we've added the right channel into this scenario because it's important when connecting a stereo source. Inside the amplifier, it will actually take the left and the right channels and combine them and send that combined audio to channel 1 and channel 2. The really nice thing about a 70 volt system setup in either scenario is you can wire up literally hundreds of speakers to cover a really large area. Now, let's say you want to use an 8 ohm system to get a full range of sound. You have a couple of options here as well. One, you can use a standalone amplifier. In order to get a couple speakers onto the same channel, we need to use parallel wiring and we can drop our ohm load down to four ohms per channel and match our amplifier's capabilities. Now alternatively, you can use zone two output of a receiver, but you gotta be careful because they're typically not stable down to four ohm, meaning you can't do more than one speaker per channel. However, you can get by this by using an impedance matching speaker selector, which would allow you to add more speakers, let's say four in this example, to that second zone output. Now, while you can see 8 ohm doesn't allow for as many speakers, it is really, really good for small to mid-sized systems that want stereo with a full range of sound. Now, we actually recommend this third solution because it leverages the benefit of both 70 volt to give us a large amount of speakers in combination with 8 ohm to give us a full range of sound. Now it's all done through our professional crown amplifier with our episode DSP settings. You would simply input a source and if you had a left and right connection, it would combine those channels inside the amp. And then with our DSP setting, send our lows to channel one, which is our eight ohm channel to feed a subwoofer. And then it would send the mids and highs to channel two, which is our 70 volt channel to feed all of our satellite speakers. To wire it, simply directly connect channel one to the sub and then for channel two, you send standard 70 volt wiring practice to daisy chain the landscape speakers. As you can see, our episode landscape speakers really give you the flexibility for a variety of installation options. Go strictly 70 volt when you need a bunch of speakers to cover a large area. Go 8 ohm when you need a full range of sound. Or better yet, do a combination of the two using a crown amp with our DSP setting to get the best of both worlds. Now, we hope this video helps, but if you do have any questions or you get stuck on a system design, please feel free to give us a call. We thank you very much for buying with SnapAV, and as always, happy installing.